What's going on guys, this is Fletcher on Ultimate Taylor and the beta for Halo Wars 2 is still out and for the most part is a hell of a lot of fun but for those who are unfamiliar with the RTS real time strategy genre you may be unfamiliar with the mechanics and the playstyle of a game like Halo Wars 2. So in collaboration with our friend Hidden Xperia you can view his top 5 tips right here on the screen and if you want to find out more click there or go to the description and watch his tips and tricks for this game and you can also learn more here. So at number one we have map domination and knowledge is key. So you may think you know it's a bit of a stupid fact but it's an absolutely essential thing to do in a game like this. On your minimap you can see everything that is there and it will tell you absolutely everything that you need to know. You can see where all the resources bases and capture points are by looking right at your minimap. You should also use scouts to scope out the enemy bases to paint a clear picture of what their developments are to see what they are going to build and where. This can help develop your own game and potentially combat what the enemy is going to build on their own side of the map so make sure you study the minimap and everything that's on it before running out into the wild. At number two, we have Know Your Units. Units are fundamental in the way that you play Halo Wars and it takes the time to know what every single little unit does, what beats what and why. So for example, infantry gets destroyed by vehicles, vehicles get destroyed by air and air gets destroyed by infantry. That's the general pattern you'll need to know, but there are outliers which makes you sort of need to familiarize yourself before wasting supplies and resources just to go out and get wrecked on the battlefield. And also bear in mind that knowing your enemy's game is crucial to what units you should spawn and if the enemy was to spawn some air vehicles you make sure you go ahead and get some of your anti-infantry for this. At numero tres, we have having the upper hand slash starting off strong. Now quite often in Halo Wars 2, you'll find particularly in Domination that if you don't get off to a strong start, it can be detrimental to the rest of your performance in the whole game. So make sure you concentrate on creating a powerful economy by accumulating energy, supplies, and making sure that your Marines pick up any supply crates in their ventures across the map. Without a good economy, you may have a limited bandwidth and progress may be slow and painful so make sure you get up by building those generators and supply pads fast. Tip number four is play the objective and it is not what you have but how you use it. In Halo Wars 2 you can easily capture bases straight off the bat. You don't need anything excessive in terms of planning but make sure your resources are spread out sufficiently throughout the map. When capturing objectives particularly in domination remember where you are in relation to the rest of your army too. If you are too far out and there are bases between your own and where you are currently situated perhaps rethink your strategy and remember sitting in your base while gathering tons of units isn't always the best thing it can limit you quite a lot and so position units across the map so that if an enemy wants to pile into one position and try take over you can also kind of perform a pincer movement and sort of hit them from multiple angles and finally at number five is multitask all of these things that I've just mentioned do them, do them all. If you allow yourself to be too engrossed in just one task, you can lose sight of other things on the map. And by the time you know it, your enemy is already bringing an army of scorpions, hornets, infantry to your home base. And there you are still trying to gather resource crates in the back of your base. So make sure you're always trying to keep your eyes out for the following game. So what did you guys think of all of these tips? Have you got any tips yourself that other players in the comment section can pick up and sort of improve their game? And thank you very much for watching Ultimate Halo on this fine day. For some of the best Halo content around, you should definitely subscribe. And once again, make sure you go watch Hidden Xperia's top five video in the comments and make sure you let him know what you think to his and his link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Fletch here on Ultimate Halo and I will see you in the next one. Peace out guys. Now for more unfreaking believable Halo